we have our last section. And this tutorial will now look at distance while braking. So again, I'm going to kind of get down here close to where it is. Distance while braking. And I'm going to click out of there and click back and bold it. And then once again, the velocity of the car before braking equals, and that again is just C4. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Return and also get my units, meters per second. Then we have the velocity of the car after braking. And from our system analysis and our just knowledge, we know that is zero. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I think I actually put O, so I'm going to go back and make sure I put in zero meters per second. From our research, we have the deceleration due to braking. That's also an input, so I'm going to color that one. And deceleration is in meters per second per second. Then from our computational thinking, we know how to find the time of braking. And that is a needed calculation. It's not a distance, so I'm not gonna color it red, but we do need to calculate it. And as always, when we want spreadsheets to calculate something, we start with an equal sign. And then looking at my system analysis, I see that it's V final that's the velocity after it breaks minus the initial speed it had in this section, which is going to be for me C24, all divided by, oh, I'm going to add parentheses. Whoops. I'm going to add parentheses around those two. And then I need to divide by the acceleration due to braking, which I'm going to go tell it to grab that in this cell here. Okay, it doesn't like that right now because it's zero. And then I'm going to do our final calculation for the distance while braking section. And that, of course, is the distance the car goes while braking. And that is a distance calculation. So again, I'm going to color that red. And then this is quite a long equation that we just figured out. But again, looking at my system analysis, I can see that is equal to the initial speed. So I'm going to go grab that times the time it was going that, the time of braking, the time it was going that during this section, plus one half AT squared. So one half, I'm going to actually put in 0 0.5 times the acceleration times the time squared, or we can just multiply it times time, times time. Hit return. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to go on to actually complete it. So we need the, at this point, we need the total distance the car goes. So I'm going to put that here. just as we have on our system analysis, that's going to equal the distance while distracted plus the distance while reacting plus the distance while breaking. And I need to color that red and that's a really important one. So I'm actually going to even bold the answer. And I might even bold this one. I also want to write justify this. And I'm going to go a little bit lower because I know I'm going to put in the 
distance to the walker. So I'll go up and right justify everything so it looks good. And then here I'll put distance to walker. And that is going to be an input depending on the situation. And that is in meters. And now I realize I left off some meters on my distances over here as well. So let me go back. And the time we're breaking, that was in seconds. Okay. And the last thing we have is what will happen? So I'm going to write that. What will happen? Question mark. And again, I'm going to write justify that. And I'm going to program my conditional if statement. So again, I want the computer to do something. So I'm going to start with the equals. If we found that the total distance the car goes, so I got to go find that. That's right here. Is greater than or equal to. Look, it's a little different than math class. You do the greater than sign and then an equal sign. The distance to the walker. If that's a true statement, we want it to output the text. So I got to put it in quotes. Call 911 exclamation mark. And then in the quotes, comma. And now if it's not the case, what do we want? We had you, you might want to yell, you need to be more careful. Exclamation mark. And then close parentheses. All right, and we are now done.